All right. Recently, I made a little board to help make programming the Raspberry Pi Pico slightly easier. And what I did was I made a little board that sat flush right here with the Raspberry Pico. And what it does is it grabs the SWD lines and it also has the power rails and the UART lines into one little connector right here. And these are the small IDC cables you'd find on your JTAG programmer. And what you do is you just slap this right here. And I made a little programming board with that same connector with a little uh, jumper for power. And you plug this in like that. And then you add power here. Your USB cable and you're ready to program and the thought the idea of this came from a project I saw online so, so a guy online made this board to program where you put the Pico here with this JTAG like connector this 2x5 1.27 millimeter connector and he would have the matching connector on his custom PCB right here. But for the most part, I'm not making many custom PCBs. Um, so if I could actually test with the actual Pico with this cable, that was my end goal. Um, before actually making this board, I didn't realize there was actually a JST connector version of this Pico. Now, I probably, I don't know if I would have made this little board I made if I knew this existed, but the added benefit my board has is, you know, it brings in the power and the yard, and what it also does is it routes these two I squared C's back to the main board. And we can see that. So, the board looks like this. Right here is the ground, and right here is the ground, and these are the serial wires, and this right here are I squared two, and this is I squared C one. And we have the UART TX here, and the five volts going here. And this board just fits pretty flush on the actual Pico, uh, to the point where you can just kind of bridge over these connections. So we can take a gander at the programming board. We have the mating connector here. Uh, this is the breakout for uh, just straight out pins for the programmer. Uh, here we have breakouts for the RX and TX I squared C lines here if you want to hook them up to your logic analyzer. And just for completeness, I have this JST connector with the pins broken up right on the top right here. Um, I just haven't decided to actually solder them on. Um, they're actually more expensive than most of these devices I have. Um, I also made one for the Raspberry Pi uh, 4000, was my primary thought. So you could just slap this inside here and just have a connector that comes out, or even just the uh, the three lines that you'd need. Um, this would also probably work for the normal Raspberry Pi. I just haven't haven't tested it out yet. Um, just for fun, I thought it would be. Oh, if if you have any thoughts on this, just leave them in the comments. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna plan to make any more of these, or if. If you think it's a good idea, I would. Uh, I've got a GitHub page, and uh, you can leave messages in the comments of this YouTube, or set put some uh, error reports on my uh, GitHub page, which whatever you feel. But just for fun, I thought it would be uh, cool to just go through the process. So this was my original attempt at this. I. When I originally made this, I was thinking, oh, the serial wires here, the serial wires here. I'll just 
put straight wires through and it should just work fine. But um, that's just not how this, this, this thing works. So basically, you have to use these two pins up here to program the serial wire down here. Um, so that's why this looks extremely janky because uh, I never intended to do that. Um, my first uh, try at this little breakout debug board looks something like this, where I made the thickness of this little adapter board way too thick. Um, it's This is like 1.6 versus the 0.6 I was using before. So I had to actually just grab some of these little wires and bridge the connections over. Massive, massive pain. I also, when I was doing this, I only had um, a connector I had from the STM programmer I have. So I had this like gigantic 20 pin connector. So I had to rip off the sides right here and here so I could fit this big chunky connector on there to test it. Um, I also had the pins backwards. So the cable I was using was straight through. So this connector here is the same as this connection, or this pin here is the same as this pin here. But because of that, you need this twist in there. Um, the new wire, the new wire I'm using, you don't need that twist. Uh, because basically this pin matches up inversely with this set connector. So this pin here is this pin here, and this pin here is this pin here. So from the connector's perspective, it's not twisted. Um, all right. So yeah. So yeah, if you have any thoughts, um, uh, if you want on making this better at all, just yeah, just just leave them in the comments, I guess.